Hi, I'm Glenn. I work at Creative HQ, and I help large organizations um, use disruptive technologies on either offense or defense um, to either to protect themselves from disruptive innovation or create it themselves. Uh, well, an exponential technology is obviously a technology. Um, like computers, um, it's a technology that's doubling in its performance or capability um, on a regular period. So with computers, it's doubling like every 18 months. So exponential technologies are ones that are on an exponential curve. But in addition, they're reaching sort of a tipping point where they become cheap enough or capable enough that we can now use them as building blocks in our businesses to accomplish amazing things. So like with 3D printing, for example, it's been around for a really, really long time, you know, a number of decades. But now you can 3D print skin or buildings or cars. So it's become so capable and so cheap, you can now do stuff you'd never be able to do before. Well, exponential technology is important because it's enabling um, businesses to disrupt the way the world works. So again, back to the 3D printing example, if you can 3D print a car, you can imagine that would have amazing consequences on a lot of really big businesses. Um, you could have custom cars and all that sort of stuff. Imagine if you could 3D print a house in a week, and actually prototype that sort of thing in, in China. Well, it might dramatically reduce the cost of housing. Um, it might completely disrupt all the people that currently build houses. Um, yeah, so the exponential technologies are letting us solve business problems in ways that allow us to do amazing things that we've never been able to do before. So upends, disrupts, you know, major industries. Right, well, we've already seen the impact of um, you know, digital technologies. You know, Uber is here disrupting taxi companies. Netflix uh, is in the process of disrupting Sky TV, um, you know, et cetera. So there's other technologies like, say, drones that are being used in last mile delivery of stuff that could, if it were to come to New Zealand, disrupt um, couriers and all the delivery companies. It could possibly disrupt the way retail works because if you're, you know, living in the suburb in Auckland, why spend, you know, an hour driving someplace to pick up something when, gee, it could be delivered to you by drone and you could do something else in that hour. Um, so yeah, you know, they could have potentially really big impacts on us. So singularity is kind of a funny word. It's an idea that the artificial intelligence exponential technology will get to a point where it surpasses what humans are able to do. And that sort of point is known as the singularity. Um, you'd probably never be able to really figure out where that point was, because every day all of these technologies make advances, because we have millions of people working on them. But I suppose if you took a, you know, a macro look at it from a long distance away, you'd be able to say, well, that's the point. You know, maybe after we passed it, 